friends, it's The Stitches. I've mentioned in the past that I really enjoy vintage lingerie details in outfits. I know that a lot of people aren't really a big fan of this particular trend, which I'm actually not sure if it's still trendy, as I haven't seriously paid attention to mainstream fashion in a long time now. I've heard that it looks tacky, that it makes you look half-dressed, but I just don't feel that way. I think vintage slips and peignoirs are really pretty, and I love wearing them as regular garments. So for today's video, I've put together four looks using vintage lingerie pieces from my wardrobe. For my first look, I have a very Lolita fashion inspired outfit. I've used my Alice in Funfair jumper skirt by Baby the Star Shine Bright as a base, layering a vintage pastel pink peignoir over the top of it. I'm not super pleased with my legwear choice. I think in some of my footage, the red of my socks looks a little bit too harsh. If I were to wear this outfit again, I would switch them out for some sheer white or ivory tights. Other than that, I'm pretty pleased with this outfit. I have all vintage accessories, and my shoes are secondhand YRU platforms. Now for something completely different. I put together two pastel outfits and two darker outfits for this video, and this is obviously one of the darker ones. My dress is a vintage slip from either the 80s or the 90s, I'm not sure. This slip is actually one of the pieces in my wardrobe that I've had the longest. The texture on it has some sheer sections, so I'm wearing a nude bodysuit underneath, as well as some nude slip shorts, so I'm still fully covered. The vest that I'm wearing over my slip dress is also vintage. I picked it up at a local thrift store. I've paired some sock garters with my sweater knit knee highs to add some visual interest, and I really like how these look together. My third look is another pastel outfit. I've once again layered a peignoir over a dress, this time a soft light green colored peignoir and a blue gingham dress. My dress is handmade, and I actually made a whole video about the sewing process a long time ago, so maybe there will be a link in the corner of this video, or maybe I'll forget. We'll see. Keeping with my soft pastel color scheme, I have these muted pink ballet inspired creepers with some lace topped knee highs. I just wanted this outfit to look really soft and airy for the hot summer months. My last outfit is the only look that doesn't include a dress of any kind. I've paired this black camisole top with a vintage houndstooth pleated skirt that I shortened to be more flattering on me. Then over the top I've layered this ivory bed jacket type outerwear piece. And I couldn't resist wearing fishnets with this outfit. I've also used my red velvet tuck creepers that I got off of Depop. Of course, on camera they look basically black since velvet is impossible to film, but to me they had a nice pop of color. This is probably my favorite look of the whole bunch, surprisingly, and also the most comfortable, so I'll probably casually wear this outside of my house at some point. And those are all of my outfits for this video. I hope this was enjoyable even for those of you that hate this trend, and I also hope that this gave some outfit inspiration to those of you who love this trend. That's all for today's video, and with that, I'll see you next time. Bye! My cats are fighting in the other room and it's kind of concerning.